this shelter dog won't stop growing. Then DNA tests expose the shocking truth. Shivering, wet, and alone, too many puppies start their lives in such conditions, and Yuki was one of them. His story might have ended there if fate and two brave individuals hadn't stepped in. Kent and Nancy Smith knew that they had to help Yuki, but when they met him in person, they realized they were in for something much more complicated than they had expected. A DNA test would later confirm it, but Yuki wasn't the shivering little pup they thought he was. It was 2008 and Yuki's original owner was getting desperate. The small, shivering puppy they once rescued had transformed into a wild, snarling creature. The owner couldn't get Yuki to sit, let alone keep him on a leash and away from other people. It was like Yuki was another dog entirely. To make matters worse, the gray matted puppy wasn't really a puppy anymore. The energetic dog was getting too difficult for one person to control, and that alone was enough to make the owner seek outside help. That is, until he noticed another startling trait. At eight months old, Yuki had grown to a bigger size than his owner could have ever expected. Of course, puppies grow, but this much so soon was alarming enough that his owner decided to wipe their hands clean of the matter and make Yuki someone else's problem. The owner dropped Yuki off at an animal shelter in hopes that they could find him a more suitable home. The shelter had seen all kinds of badly behaved pups and wild animals in their time, but it soon became clear that they were no match for Yuki, so they called in the big guns. They knew of a nearby shelter that specialized in taking care of animals that other shelters couldn't handle. Owned by Kent and Nancy Smith, the animal shelter's staff and volunteers had overseen the most unruly animals, from badly behaved dogs like Yuki to bobcats and cougars. Settled in Naples, Florida, Kent and Nancy's shelter, Shy Wolf Sanctuary, has helped over 1,200 creatures in need. More than that, the Smiths have emphasized an educational approach to better unify humans with animals. They had no idea then how little they were prepared for an animal like Yuki. Two staff members from Shy Wolf Sanctuary traveled over to bring Yuki to his new home. The gray dog needed special care and people who could actually understand him. And the staff members knew that they were the best people for the job. Until they met him face to face. They'd been told that Yuki was a tough case. But it was still unnerving to see young Yuki thrashing around in fear when they approached. When he wasn't baring his teeth at them, he was glaring at them with small yellow eyes. Of course, what really struck them as odd was his size. For being only eight months old, Yuki was big. Weirdly big. One look at him and Kent and Nancy knew they weren't dealing with a normal pup. So they arranged for Yuki's DNA to be tested. While they waited for the results, their hunch that something was up with Yuki was only reinforced by his behavior. Yuki definitely didn't have the friendly, man's best friend attitude of other dogs. He was erratic at best and violent at worst, though he slowly got more comfortable at the sanctuary as time went on. Still, the sanctuary staff tried to domesticate him until an accident made doing so impossible. When Yuki unexpectedly wounded his right knee against a palmetto, he needed five surgeries to fully heal. The painful experience only made poor Yuki even more unpredictable. Throughout the period, he became very particular about who he was allowing into his cage. It became apparent that the few staff members Yuki liked were women. When comfortable, Yuki could even manage to sit on one of their laps for a cute Instagram moment. Those moments were rare, however. Most of the time, the staff simply tried to figure out why he wouldn't stop growling. When the DNA tests finally came back, the staff didn't know what to expect. As the owners of Shy Wolf Sanctuary, Kent and Nancy definitely had a feeling that Yuki's dog-like appearance didn't tell his entire story. And when they analyzed Yuki's DNA, they saw just how right they were. Yuki had German Shepherd and Siberian Husky in his genetic makeup. With his inquisitive yet protective nature, this made sense. Though the German Shepherd and Siberian Husky genes were only a fraction of his DNA, as it turned out, the other 87.5% of Yuki's DNA was Grey Wolf. 
With that, everything started to make much more sense. It was no wonder his original owner couldn't handle Yuki. He wasn't a dog at all. Although pure wolves are known to be antisocial to humans, wolf dogs like Yuki are unpredictable. Whether or not he could be domesticated was unclear. The staff at the sanctuary were hopeful, knowing Yuki's DNA would make it easier to domesticate him. After all, some wolf dogs can be successfully managed in a home, but it's a very low percentage. And with Yuki's injury and aversion to males, Shy Wolf Sanctuary became a permanent home for Yuki. Growing up into an adult, Yuki weighed close to 120 pounds. He grew to be over 5 feet long, and by that time, the staff were grateful that Yuki was there to stay. After all, just because Yuki couldn't be fully domesticated didn't mean he couldn't have a family. And thanks to the staff members at Shy Wolf Sanctuary, Yuki has his own fans, too. Through Instagram, the volunteers keep their followers up to date on the daily life of their very own wolf dog. They updated their followers on Yuki's favorite activities, and even on his love life. Yuki went on to find a mate with a canine named Bella. To the shock of the staff, it was Bella who ended up being the alpha of the pair. The duo lived together happily for years, their lives broadcast on Instagram, but as Yuki got older, he received something no one expected, a cancer diagnosis. Though heartbroken, Shy Wolf Sanctuary did their best to ensure that Yuki enjoyed his final days. In November of 2020, after years of rescue, rehabilitation, and love, Yuki passed away. Though he would no longer roam the sanctuary, Yuki still managed to inspire Kent and Nancy into making a huge decision. Inspired by their difficult but rewarding years with Yuki, the Shy Wolf Sanctuary successfully managed to purchase another area in Florida. With more funding, the staff will only continue to grow their animal haven. After all, it worked for Yuki. Maybe they could save even more animals.